Hey, good morning, guys. Um, just want to address uh, certain things again. Uh, welcome again. If you are here, if you like uh, my previous ones, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just thankful to be here. I'm go not gonna cut everything. I'm just gonna make it raw, like uh, I used to do before this. And uh, yeah, recently, recently I posted up something in Facebook. Uh, I put it there as Kanye this Bieber that, but where's Jesus? Um, and a lot of people, some of the people uh, replied and uh, some have like, you know, good comments, some like responding, like saying that, oh, this and that, you know, but um, certain people also replied and saying that, oh, uh, um, talking about uh, quoting Bible verses and everything, some people even PM me or even DM me and uh, saying about like, you know, why you, why you judging and uh, all this kind of stuff. I'm not even judging. Um, the point is why I said that thing, right? Uh, Bieber this, Kanye this, Bieber that. Because uh, I think uh, people are starting to talk about them now as they as they are as they are going into like you know being being shown in in church, being shown that they are starting a service and everything and all this kind of stuff, but. Um, but not but not addressing them before or even talking about them before and uh, now suddenly just like everything blew up you know and it's all because of what social media it's all because of the power of social media of how social media has been put it up how social media has been uh, uh, addressing this this kind of things and and uh, sadly for me uh, to be honest um, I start seeing Christians uh, talking about it and uh, not just talking about it but criticizing it um, more rather than uh, celebrating or rejoicing um, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, I'm not here to like saying that oh Kanye is the good one you know or or Bieber or whoever or XYZ or ABC is, is better but uh, I'm saying that um, there is uh, there is something that we have to review in ourselves, in our hearts, before we start, like, you know, talking about others, talking about these kind of things, talking about, oh, um, what do you think about his music? Uh, what do you think about his lyrics? Uh, uh, what is right? What is wrong? What is true? What is false? Like, why, 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 why are we so fixated on a human being? Uh, why we are fixated so much on 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 man and what the progress of man can do when God wants to do and show us there's something different that he is doing right now even in the media world even in music even in how we address the gospel itself and uh, when when I sat down even even these past few days I was looking at my you know text and stuff and uh, and seeing some of the leaders, some of uh, uh, church leaders and pastors and friends, you know, Christians, uh, posting up like, um, oh, uh, you know, we uh, uh, talk about this, talk about Kanye and uh, what's his music call and everything. And um, I had a very uh, interesting conversation with my dad yesterday. And um, here, uh, he, we, he's, we talked about this and he said like, even when we worship in church, uh, when we have our prayer meeting or we have our like you know uh, whatever worship service that it is as we worship as we sing songs you know rah, rah, we sing then we go for free worship and there's no lyrics there's no nothing it's between you and god it's between us and god and as we sing and we speak to god um and we set it out and there's no lyrics and everything and it's just you rawly conversation uh, conversating with god and all this kind of stuff and is is that even uh, considered like oh uh, is this right is this wrong it's 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 between you and god it's the conversation between us and god and one thing that that actually hits me is that oh hey it's really between us and god it's really between kanye west and god it's really between justin bieber and god it's really between this pastor and god it's really between the church and god it's really between um uh, jpcc hillsong bethel whatever with God, it's, it's between them and God. Um, whether it is it is it is right or wrong, um, I honestly feel this is just my personal thought. Uh, 
us as Christians, we should, I would say, evaluate ourselves before we start to make comments and evaluate about other people and howsoever it is. You know, um, um, first, uh, uh, first Philippians, pula. Uh, Philippians chapter 1, it says this, um, in verse 15, it is true that some preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill, the latter do so in love, knowing that I am put here on the defense of the gospel. This is Paul saying, and the former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, supposing that they can stir up trouble for me while I am changed. But what does it matter? The important thing that is in every way, the uh, uh, whether from false motives or true, false motives or true doesn't talk, doesn't really just uh, address about like you know, is uh, starting a cult or everything. But maybe false motives, you know, or true motives, whichever it is. Christ is preached, and because of this, I rejoice. And yes, and I will continue to rejoice. This is what Paul says. And for me. I think for us, it's like especially worship team, worship leaders. Um, I think it's really, really important that we should rejoice in every way uh, who comes to Christ, uh, and I think that that will be a very, very important thing for us because we celebrate, celebrate life, we celebrate things, and truly enough, you will never talk about Kanye West or Justin Bieber uh, in this way until they become, well so-called the, the world says it now that they are christians right so in verse 27 here it uh, it, it says uh, something that actually hits me when i read really a little bit just now whatever happens verse 27 philippians chapter 1 conduct yourself in the manner worthy of the gospel of christ then whether i come and see you or only hear about you in my absence i would know that you stand firm on one spirit contending as one man of, of the faith of the gospel without being frightened in any way by those who oppose you. This is a sign to them that they will be destroyed, but that you will be saved and dead by God, for it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ not only to believe in Him, but also to suffer for Him, since you are going through the same struggle you saw I had, and now hear that I still have. So, friends, family, Christians, all around, you know, you want to talk about, like, uh, all this and that and artists because they are artists and all this kind of stuff right I think um, I want to uh, I want to bring us back again to who we are in Christ I think we should recheck uh, reset ourselves to understand who we are and what we should do are we preaching the gospel are we talking about the gospel by just sitting down and criticizing here and there are we are we gonna uh, uh, um, uh, set captives free? Are we gonna uh, feed the poor? Are we gonna save the blind? Let the blind see? Are we gonna go out there, or just sitting down here and criticize about whether Jesus is King album is Christian or not? Whether Kanye West <laughs> is Christian or not? Don't bother about it. Just go and preach the gospel. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. He didn't say, go and sit down and criticize Christian singers, churches, build churches. No, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. Let the gospel be preached. And therefore, we rejoice. We should rejoice that the gospel will be preached. So, I, want, I mean, like I'm challenging myself too at the same time and I'm challenging all of us. If you are still here at nine minutes and you are still listening, Praise God. God bless you, you know. And uh, uh, I just want you to know that I just want to challenge you. Move. Don't just stay in church and and uh, stay in your cell group or stay in your Sunday service, like uh, like the, the the good the good Christian you are. But move, you know. And I want to challenge the worship team, the worship leaders, whoever who are listening right now, and you're still listening here. Um, hey. Sing a new song to the Lord. Speak the truth boldly and courageously. Rather than criticize, celebrate. Rather than uh, uh, rather than uh, giving comments, speak the truth. That is what we are called to do, and we should preach the gospel to all nations and make disciples of all nations. Um, so yeah, whatever happens, conduct yourself in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. So what is the gospel of Christ? To 
talk about his kingdom, to talk about repentance to come before God and to make disciples of all nations. Hey, so yeah, I just want to uh, address. I just want to address this. You know, uh, I I I I have no problem against uh, uh, against the, the album itself. Maybe some of the lyrics. I'm trying to understand what he's 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 talking about, the context behind it, and uh, yeah, you know, worship him with all we have. Don't worship him with criticism. Don't worship God, not Kanye West. <laughs> Don't worship God with criticism. Okay, so um, I pray I pray to you that um, that you continue to to be be filled with 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 God's love. That you continue to be filled with with uh, truth and boldness and courage that you continue to uh, preach the gospel and go beyond nations and to make disciples of all nations so god bless you uh jesus loves you i love you too and yeah god bless have a wonderful day yay